Hello all and welcome back to my Total War Rome 2 gameplay. This is uh, another episode of that said title. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, last we left off, we would busy um, beating back and being beaten uh, or, or trounced, not trounced, um, backstabbed by the Nervii. Well, not backstabbed because they weren't our allies, but whatever. They, they stole Bagacum. Um, but that was probably about two episodes ago. Since then, we've just been conquering the Gallic Confederation, uh, smashing them about. Hello. You're gonna really attack me with one unit, Yarverni, <laughs> silly people. Uh, so we got Senebum, we're recruiting there. We got Mno no no Senna. So basically, we've cut um, gold in half. We want to try and take back, tr not take back. We want to take Trevor, Trevorum. Uh, so our empires are joined, as you can see. Uh, we're not joined currently, but we're obviously gonna take this and this. So we're gonna have pretty much half of gold. By the time we finished in this in this war, which is nice. Um, so let's go ahead and start off the episode with a battle. Victory! Yeah, so we're gonna win. Um, although I do hope they come to meet me, rather than me having to come and kill them. There's gonna be nine turns until they surrender him. So I guess let's just go and take it quickly. It's a huge fight. We've got about six thousand. They have. For about two thirds of that, um, yeah, yeah, we probably have. Fingers crossed. Mm. There is nothing drinking a cup of tea when you're playing Total War. Okay, so we're dry at the moment. Yep, let's go attack. We're Rome, so we like big open battles and nice, lovely weather. Piss off, Steam. Um, don't you hate it that time? Sometimes when you just press Shift. The steam overlay opens before it would it never used to do that. It, it was always when you press shift tab. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I've been like here for too long? All right, we don't. It's just here we need to take. Um, I guess we might as well just push our army in from this side. You know, there's, there's nothing. It's really gonna be a negative from that. All right, let's take you up. Like so. I mean, we could just get our skirmishers on the cliff top here. And push forward with some swordsmen to protect their flank. I mean, that's probably the smartest move I can make. So let's do that. Let's have them there. Let's have um, the barbarians and some Sam Knights. These guys. Uh, you're going to be their guard. And these guys. Well, you're going to be our. You're going to be our fallback <laughs> troops. Or five, so I don't want to lose you. These guys are going to be the main effort here in the front. Three with a warrior general. Wow, there's a lot of them. I thought there's only one, and a hero being over here as well. So there we go. You can be four. Okay, and our cavalry. I mean, we may as well just chuck them around the side. Or behind, just so they can, yeah, reinforce anything. Right. You lot, then we go, like this. Our reinforcements have arrived. Like this. I guess like this. Get in there. And you lot, like this. There we go. Uh, you guys can just, I don't know, come up here, I guess. Be up here. Number six. Let's group you up closer. You lot. Come on. Over here. Off we pop. Let's get everyone up quickly. This is all going to fill up with men. So it looks like the majority of the enemy are all running over here. No idea why. So they're running towards... Okay, now they're splitting up. We've got some of their guys on the beach, but we need to come and take this point here. So hopefully they're going to come and the main battle's going to be here, so my slingers can start taking them out. Right, so let's go ahead and get our barbarian troops in position here. Nice blocking formation. Let's just present a solid wedge of our barbarians. 
And then we'll take the this is Stati guy. We'll have him here. You guys all firing? Alright, let's go ahead and just set you up so you're actually going to fire at the enemy. Like so. Okay, right, I obviously need to take these guys off far away. Because that's incredibly annoying. There we go. Feel free to actually fire at them. That'd be nice. Doesn't work, does it? Are we actually going to be able to hit anything from up there? Probably not. That's annoying. Are these guys stingers? Or skirmishers? Oh, my stings are doing damage. Cool. Well, we can just leave them there to die. Obviously, we have a nice bunch of goals just sitting here being like bring it it's a nice formation of goals there <laughs> that's really satisfying come on folks catch up right you you're a general let's get you over here and in command um, you're a hero let's get you in there send both heroes in along with the front line of soldiers and the first warrior general you are cavalry and you are cavalry and you and you are cavalry so let's go and chuck you in with this cavalry and we'll take them round so we can at flank uh, then we've just got the infantry I guess and this is a bunch of skirmishers there we go so these are going to be Control 7, I guess. We have a 3? We must have a 3 somewhere. Yeah. Control 7. So these guys are going to be taken off, run away. And we're just going to chuck them in, like so, I guess. Here they come. Nope. Okay. So we've outrouted, we've routed them. Let's go ahead and bring up the force. Like so. Come on, idiot, charge. Get in there. Our hidden units have been discovered. What are these guys? Oh, they're cavalry as well. Okay. Alright, so cavalry, you're gonna come over here. And all of these spears. Units have been discovered. Are gonna help out in the main fight. They're coming up over here. Hello. Okay. There we go. Send the warrior general in. He can earn his keep. Our general is under attack. Very easy. Alright, obviously, oh wow, so we've been charged over here. Our goalish warriors are having to deal with a bit of an assault by some spears here. Oh, are they winning? Come back even, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Let's uh, inspire and uh, war cry. Drop them in to help out. Get the cavalry and bring them around to here. Okay. Our hidden units have been discovered. And yeah, we're bringing these guys around, aren't we? Why? What on earth is happening here? Get in there and kill them, please. It's okay, so a spear, so cavalry is necessarily going to do too well against them. Especially when these guys are armed with like clubs. However, the general will. It's probably intelligent to bring these guys away. You winning? 
Uh, combat even. Yeah, okay, we'll leave you there. So who here is winning? Okay, so things are going quite well. Let's go ahead and chuck these guys in. Uh, bring these guys up to be a bit of a rear guard effort against so to defend our skirmishers. Get the general, get the general in. Why not? Get him in there. Okay, so these we we're fighting them on two fronts mainly. We winning here. Let's use the general's abilities. Let's inspire. War cry. Off you pop. Right, you lot, um, get in there. I just want a mass of Romans charging in. Because <laughs> why the hell not? Hmm. I think we're about to win this. Right, time for cavalry to make short work of these guys and then to smash them all in the rear. Our hidden units and that should be coming out to the end of the fight, really. Nicely done. If I don't say so myself. Have we defeated these fellows yet? Wow, we really haven't. That's embarrassing. Kill them, please. Okay, so they appear to be running. Well, they are skirmishers, so my cavalry is going to annihilate them. Come on, get around that corner. That's very frustrating. Get around that corner. <laughs> How stupid is this mob? Right, I'll stop them from firing. There we go. Here come the cavalry. So this is a mixture, a nice mixture of Roman cavalry and their barbarian counterparts. Obviously, I like using large formations of cavalry as a typical Roman hammer, hammer and anvil. That's my. <laughs> it's about as far as my um, experimentation goes. No, I don't want archers in there. Oh yeah, I suppose we are. Yeah, that's right. I mean, to have that. Okay. You and all of you, but not you and not you. No, not you and not you. Charge. You and you. Let's just get you here. Okay, you two are gonna get in there. Actually, fuck it. No, let's just have you throw stuff. We can just have you throw stuff. That's awesome. Should probably use that more. Um is having fellows like this using their um, this ability while others in front of them are fighting. I think that's a really good idea. I should probably do that more and having a second line out of formation so they automatically throw their pilum. That's probably a really smart move to make. Right, cavalry line up properly. Who are these guys? Even more skirmishers. Right, one unit can be detached to kill you the rest are all gonna be used like this you get after them come on get out of here oh my god what the hell is so slow some ground deformation or something I don't know get after them Right, you can be something else. You're going to be like nine for now, so I can control the rest of the cavalry. Right. This side. The men are wavering. Oh my god, so my men are wavering. That sucks. Quickly, General, rally, I need to... Crap, pause, pause. Right, okay. General. Inspire, second win. Yeah, there we go. They are about to have a special kind of hell visited upon them. You lot, have you defeated them yet? Yes, okay, right, we'll get back into the fight. One of our 
So my cavalry is now charged and should in theory now cause a bit of a mass rout. Let's have these guys chuck their peelum in uh, to here to try and get some of the middlemen. There we go, coming in just over their heads, taking some of those guys out in the middle. And mass route begins. There we go. You get after them. Very easy. We're going to continue, but we're going to have these fellows get off fire at will. And we're actually going to have them attack like normal. Ta-da! Continue. We want to kill us. Oh, so it's a siege battle, actually. I'm attacking in a siege. They're all going to die anyway, so... Um, quit the windows? No! No! Quit battle. <laughs> wow. Nice a victory. There we go. We've won. There we go. That's great. Look at this. Skirmishers. I wonder how many my archers killed. Never mind. Mm. Tea is the drink of heroes. <sighs> okay, feel free to kill all of them. Oh, right, okay, so these guys were killed. Um, the garrison, well, that's going to be... That's going to be destroyed. Uh, the drowned men isn't going to be destroyed, so there's one army that's going to get away. Okay, that's fine. Occupy. And they gain some traditions. Okay, so that navy's disappeared into the ocean to join another, like... Bunch of nations. Okay, fair enough. And uh, we had a nice any army coming to help us out. Oh, hello. And there's a tiny little one man army up there, which we're just going to go and crush so we don't have them in our territory. Boom. Let's go ahead and auto resolve. Aggressive stance. You're dead. <laughs> Here, have this sword. It's really tasty. Oops. Um, we don't. We have too many slaves at the moment, hence the slave revolt. Hello. Okay, apparently something in this territory is rather good. Is it could it be blacksmith? Yeah, look at this. All of our troops can be upgraded. Level one weapons. Let's go ahead and do that before we lose the um Can I do this for everything? Can I multiple Can I do this over multiple units? Yes I can. You lot. There we go. Shouldn't, didn't realise that. I suppose I'll be able to do it for this lot as well. Okay, all the way to that. There we go. All the units have now been upgraded. That can be upgraded. And now it's time to tear down all these barracks. Let's go ahead and get an auxiliary camp. Tear that one down. Turn that into fishmongers. Turn that into a Roman place. So this is going to be a huge food empire. I'm gonna. I know we've got loads of food, but if I keep expanding it, that means we don't have to worry about food for a while. Uh, can we do anything here? We sabotage something. No, not really worth it. Okay. But in any case, I mean, you're inside the city. You're not. You have a rank 2 military traditions. Uh, Vanguard Legion sounds good to me. Formidable Fighter sounds even better. How about you? Do you have any experience? No. Okay, cool. So the 5th Legion has ac ac acquitted itself well on the battlefield and is about to be sent back over here. To then come down and crush Lemonum by itself. Um, this is the this is the first time the fifth legion has been sent to do something like this. The second legion needs time to recuperate its losses. Right. World of Wonder. We have the Dolmens of Karnag. That's cool. This thing here. I guess. That's in Brittany. Uh, settlement captured. Yep. Resource acquired. Timber. Timber. I guess people will probably want to trade with me now so they can get access to timber. Um, anything else to do? I mean, this place must be kind of happy now. Be happy? Ugh, why are you so unhappy? We need to try and take Toulouse at some point. But the Arverni are much, much, much more powerful than I thought they were. They. Like if you look at their empire, it goes all the way down to like here. It's crazy. So we wage war on them next. We're going to get all the way down into um, Spain. Which might not be a bad idea. 
But as you can see, we've actually kind of split gold into two halves, which is interesting. It's kind of cool when stuff like that happens. So this place next. Um, yeah, not much else to do. I don't think there's another battle in this part of the fight. Uh, let's have a wee look up here. We've got a legion up here, but that place is unhappy. Yeah, we can't move these legions for a wee while because the buildings are all recent builds. However, I think we now have a legion here. Okay, one more turn. And then we've got a new legion which we can send north. And I think this is going to be a legion that we use to kill the Sequani. <coughs> Okay, diplomacy. Uh, no need. Okay, who do we have here? Celtic confederations all the way over there. That makes no sense. Okay, who do we have that we could possibly get some good relations with? That's kind of near us. Like Kimberly, you're all the way up there. How about another guy? No. How about trade agreement? No. Um. Moderate. That's quite. It's quite good. Look at a trade agreement, and we'll sweeten the deal with two thousand. Okay, how about five thousand? Really? Ah, oh, cool. There we go. So now, I know it's awesome, right? Non-aggression pact. No. Defensive. Okay, well, trade agreement sounds good because you'll like us eventually. Lusitani, hey buddy, how about a trade agreement? Huh. Okay, let's put that down. There we go. Trade agreement with them. 100 per turn. It's going to take a lot of turns until that goes up. But I think trade agreements, the longer you, longer you have them, the more it goes up. Possibly, I mean, I don't know. Is that how it works? Who have we been trading with a long time? Egypt, maybe, hmm. maybe not. Never mind. But at least, at least we can see parts of the map now we we couldn't before. So we can see them. Uh, wait, no, not them. Yeah, Ol Olispo, Olispo is who we we're trading with, and these guys up here. And we're trading into Alabu. Cool. Who's this? Iska. Domnoni. Oh cool, so I said you've taken over the majority of Great Britain, but they've left Ireland Ireland and uh the Domnoni alone. It's quite cool. Right, in which case, um end turn I guess. Oh wait, uh someone has a skill point. Hello. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. <laughs> Didn't realise all my armies had upgrades to do. I suppose they were in the same place. Skill points, skill point, skill point, skill point. Oh, hello. Plus one authority. That's awesome. Yeah, we're doing that. He's the uh, champion we have over there, I think. Right, okay. Time to end turn, I guess. Yep, end turn. Anything interesting going to happen this time? Any of the enemy going to decide to completely crush us? Huh. I got achieve. Anything happening? Nope, nope, nope. None of these people are going to be interesting. Hello. Um, defender. Athens and Romans are their defenders. Sway by. Yeah, let's send to side on the war of the alley. We have a legion coming up from the south, so we can hopefully deal with any forces they send west if they do, I doubt they will the Adrizians are a big big power though so that's not too bad I like how this battle map is planning out it's an interesting set of uh, set of events cool, he's ready to command oh yeah, how is it? How is the senate going? I mean, we've got lots and lots of stuff doing Time to secure promotion. Get some promotion secured. Look at that. Fantastic. We got some great promotions. Oh, hello. We can secure another promotion for him. Look at that. Whoa. This guy's doing well. He is a quister. Huh. That's great. 
I like this. I like having some great guys here. Um, let's adopt him. So now he's mine. Let's secure him promotion. Do that again. We're done. So that was nice. We now have like influence 25% of the Senate. So we've, we almost have a majority, I guess. So that's quite nice. All of the military is com pretty, pretty much all of the military is by my guys. War declared between them and them. Cool. Construction complete. Them. Ah, cool. Provincia is a happy, happy place. Will I still be happy if I move this army out? Nope. Okay. Well, let's leave them in there then. A bunch of autumn places. Outraged. So they're pissed off in Celtica. Well, they can bloody well deal with it. Consecrated ground, I think. Troops recruited. Household expands. That's good. Trait gained. Yep, yeah, cool. And some more trait gained. This is all the promotions we've got. Sweet. Done. Right, so, this army. I love how quickly this is rejuvenated. Let's get them over here. Right, next spy. You're gonna go and have a wee peek and see how these fellows are doing. Who's in. Who are we currently at war with, actually? We're at war with Lukii, Gallic Confederation, Area, Swayby, and Slaves. Area. Hey, buddy. Be welcome, I suppose. No. So they really don't want. To, they can't, I can't do anything to them. <laughs> okay. Um. Who do we not need to be at war with? The Gallic Confederation and Lugia, I guess. Never mind. In any case, thanks very much for watching. I think this comes to the end of this episode, and I'll see you again next time.